what's going on everybody it's your guy realistic here and i'm doing another tutorial for soundoracle.net and in this video i'm going to be going over an easy and simple trick that will clean up your masters instantly but if you haven't already be sure to subscribe to our youtube page we do polls on our youtube page pretty often for you to be able to vote on the types of mixing and mastering tutorials that you want to see and we also drop weekly content as well so you'll be able to check that out right away also, we have a brand new online mixing and mastering course for mixing your beats that Oracle and I just dropped. It's called The Art of Beat Mixing. It's got hours worth of content. We got PDF cheat sheets in there for you to follow along with as well. And it's got a really awesome layout that was beautifully designed. So if you want to check that out, I'll have the link in the description below. So I'm going to go ahead and show you this little trick here. It's pretty simple. And this trick alone is not enough to be able to cover everything that you need to know for mastering. So if you want to know more about mastering, I got a playlist that you can click on right there and watch that but this is just one little simple trick here and so I'll show you what it is is what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to filter out the side so I'm going to create this high pass filter and then I'm going to switch that just do the sides here and then we're going to filter out all the the low end information on just the side so we're going to keep things in the uh the mids in the low end still there now if you want to know more about mid side of what that is i do have a full video on that so you can click on that right there if you want to know more about it but just the the gist of it is mid is focusing on everything coming down the center and then sides is going to be with everything that's coming out the left and right speaker separately there so when we're dealing with things like low end, there's a lot of side information that we really don't need. And sometimes things like reverb or uh, synth basses or pads can still have information in the low end that's on the sides, but we don't really need it. It just kind of adds some muddiness or something. So this little trick right here, will will clean that up. So let's go ahead and play this and then I'll, I'll put that in right here. This is, is a track that I use. It's a loop from the Volcane vocal pack that we have from uh soundoracle.net so i'll leave a link in the description below if you want to check that loop pack out so let's go ahead and hit play so it's really subtle it just kind of cleans it up a little bit there i I like to look at it like when you're cooking, right? There's certain ingredients where you don't need a lot of those ingredients, but just a little bit of it can actually make a, a little subtle difference. Like, for instance, if you're cooking, uh, baking some cookies, right? The chocolate chips and the sugar is, is like the, the star of the show. That's the thing that people are going to notice the most that when you bite into it. However, a lot of times you'll add a little dash of salt in there. And not a lot, and it's not even that noticeable when you bite into the cookie, but it does make a difference, and it's important that it's in there. And same with this. It's not like a big drastic change, but it does make a difference. So let me go ahead real quick and show you what we're kind of cutting out here. I'll, I'll zero out some of the frequencies here. All right, so some of it is, is pretty low. If you got a good set of studio monitors or headphones, you might be able to hear some of this low stuff. But it's just little rumbles and little resonating frequencies that we really don't need in there. And so it really helps to be able to cut some of that out. And like I said, that could be coming from the reverb, the delays. Sometimes it, it can come from stereo imagers. It can also come from pads and synth bass. All right, so as far as the numbers, right, because that's where it's all at is what numbers are we using? Well, it's not going to be the same for every track, and so sometimes I'll go up to 80 where I'm rolling off, and sometimes I'll go a little bit higher and go up to 160. It all just depends on what I'm hearing and what my ears are telling me, and so I'll kind of just go up and, until like I notice a difference. So you, you really got to pay attention, and then once I notice a difference, then I'll back off a, a couple a couple couple hurts here yeah and so for this particular song i might go up to 150 
Uh, but don't get me wrong, there's a lot of songs where I've only gone up to 80 or 90. But again, I think this trick will help a lot. It's pretty easy, but it really will make a difference and just kind of clean up your mixes. It really also helps for your mixes and masters to be able to translate a lot better uh, on uh, smaller speaker devices. So that's another thing to keep in mind too. And this is a, a mastering trick here that I'm doing. So this is on my master channel in case you're wondering what channel I'm throwing this on. So yeah, just keep it in mind that this is this is where we're throwing that on there and also like i said we do have a bunch of videos on mastering if you want more in-depth stuff so at the end of the video i'll have our our playlist and the suggested videos for you to be able to check that out hey thanks for watching be sure to subscribe to our channel right here so you can catch the latest tutorials on mixing mastering and production and you can check out some of our suggested videos here here and here and, of course, if you're looking for premium loops and samples, you can find that at soundoracle.net. We got plenty to choose from.